Who's got two thumbs and got partnered Monday? This guy. Just wanted to give a quick thanks to everybody who's pushed me to get this far, you know, all my subscribers and all the guys and girls that gave me the confidence needed to put this mug on camera. You know who you are, sillies. Alright, that out of the way, let's get this ball rolling. In news that makes me wish there was such a thing as colonizing space, the Switzerland-based Large Hadron Collider, or LHC for short, is apparently going to destroy the world for reals this time. Okay, maybe not, but apparently three physicists whose names I couldn't even begin to pronounce have re-examined the entire math behind the whole, maybe this machine will kill us all scenario. These scientists have come to the conclusion that instead of everything decaying in a millisecond, these particles could actually exist for upwards of a second or longer, which apparently is a eternity when talking about this machine. Gee, scientists, thanks for freaking the shit out of the entire world. Again, maybe it's just me, but I really don't see the point freaking out about it. If nothing happens, awesome, we just go back to killing each other for retarded <laughs> If something does happen, I really doubt there's much you can do about a giant black hole winking the earth out of existence. Come on, you black hole, you talk a lot of <laughs> Let's see what you can really do. Come on, put them up. Oh, wait, you mean I'm just going to cease to exist? Oh, damn. Oh damn. And the scene. This may come as a surprise to everybody because we all know the economy is doing so well right now and banks shouldn't even be losing money at this point. No f my sarcasm button just broke. According to the Chicago Tribune, many banks that are going under in this economy have been taking hits to their profits for the past few months. The reason being is that the worse the economy gets, the less people withdraw from their ATMs and the less checks they write. And what does this entail for banks? Well, the less money people spend, the less likely they are to have overdraft fees and ATM charges. This just confirms my belief that banks thrive on people who make f***ed up mistakes when they're balancing their checkbooks. With all the people in the world, $30 a up adds up quick. I still think it's pretty screwy that banks are actually taking that big of a hit to their finances. Just goes to show you that a lot of corporations rely on the inherent stupidity of mankind to make some cash. Oh, son of a... In Lower Manhattan, something's delaying the opening of the first subway station built in 20 years. And that something is... A slight mistake in construction that's left a one-inch gap that's wider than the federal regulations allow in subway stations. You might be saying to yourself, what? A one inch gap? Well that's not so bad, maybe they'll just let it slide. Well you are incorrect sir, this one inch gap is going to cost the Manhattan Transit Authority $200,000 in three to four weeks in delay. 200 grand, one inch gap. Pardon me if I'm completely stumped as to why having a platform one inch skinnier than it's supposed to be merits the fact that you have to rebuild the whole thing, spend another $200,000 and delay something that's already been delayed for a year. What the f New York? If you were spending 200 grand on hookers, I might understand. Hell, I might even join in, but this? You silly bastard. So, moving on to wrap things up on a humorous note. In Minnesota, two supper club employees and a patron eating at the restaurant foiled an attempted robbery last Friday. Joey Jurassi entered Williams Supper Club in Muskego and proceeded to grab one of the female employees there. Joey was wearing a motorcycle helmet and claimed to have a weapon as he was demanding money. The chef of the establishment then proceeded to beat the would-be robber over the head with a large serving spoon and then proceeded to put the robber in a headlock. The robber was held on the ground by all three victims until police arrived and took him into custody. But is this not humorous enough for you? A chef stopped a robber with a spoon. Yeah, a spoon. Like this one. I wonder if I could kill a man with this. How badass do you have to be to take down a would-be criminal with a f***ing spoon? I mean, sure, he put him in a headlock afterwards, but he hit him with a Spoon! Is this some kind of secret you learn when you go to culinary school? The sacred art of kitchen utensil kung fu? Sign me up! Ha! <sighs> ha! <sighs> Don't f*** with me. I've got a spoon. So, the moral of today's video. Well, I guess if there really had to be one, I would say that the best defense is a giant f***ing spoon. Your plan's gonna be eaten by a giant black hole? Hit it with a spoon. New York subway platform too thin? Hit it with the phone ring. No, you hit it with a spoon. Banks losing money because people aren't spending as much? Hit it with the... well... You get the idea.